everybody. Another day in the shop. Pretty excited about this one actually. Um, got it pretty cleared out, I'll show you in a second. But um, I'm also building my assembly table today. Um, pretty much got the design laid out. I'm still unsure about a few things, but I'll go over that later. Um, made a trip to the home improvement store for Ben and White for these guys. Uh, three sheets of hardwood plywood and two sheets of three quarter inch MDF and one sheet of hardboard uh, for the top. I was gonna do the lacquered finish on MDF, but um, the hardboard will be easy, easily replaceable uh, if it gets pretty beat up. So it might give me a little bit more lifetime, but we'll talk about that some more later. So um, yeah, shop's ready to go. Shop coffee, it's pretty cold. Made some progress so far today. It's about one o'clock maybe. Um, yeah, so uh, I had one of the best tools in the shop working hard today. It was my uh, my neighbor. Um, couldn't have ripped some of those boards myself. Uh, so he was super helpful. Um, cut a lot of our stretchers, stringers, whatever you wanna call them here, uh, for the sides and center of the um, assembly table. And now I just finished the, uh, the legs, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, got a little bit of extra material left. Um, I don't know what I did wrong in my math, but I've got a whole sheet of plywood, which is not a bad thing. It's better to have too much left over than too little. Here is the four legs, uh, eight inches by eight inches all hard wood plywood um, and they're gonna be on the outside of the table which you'll see shortly so I'm hoping to get this all assembled today glued and screwed and uh, ready for some actual woodworking on the table by tomorrow making some progress I'm pretty excited Got uh, the first stretch of workbench, uh, let me show you here, assembled. Eight feet long, 35 inches tall. So on to the next one. Hey everybody, um, well it's been a long day. It's probably five o'clock. Uh, it's starting to get dark outside. I've been in the garage all day. My back's starting to hurt, um, but got some progress. The main frame of the table is pretty much done. Um, this is test fitting the hard board um, into the into the uh, frame because, as you can see, there's still three quarters of an inch to put some MDF underneath that hard board. Uh, I did account for the hardboard being about an eighth of an inch oversized. Uh, I did that in the width, um, but in the length, I didn't even think about it. So the hardboard is actually an eighth of an inch over in the length. So I got to take it down. Um, better to be big than too small, I suppose. Um, so yeah, really good progress. Just cut the hardboard down, cut down the MDF because it's like an inch or whatever oversized. Uh, and then... I gotta rip one of the four by eights of the MDF in half for the storage area underneath. Um, I still have to put the stringers like those down here. Um, and then cut one of the four by eights MDFs in half to put them down there. Um, and then it'll be done. Pretty much, I have some leveling feet to order and then I'm gonna put two casters centered um, on the long sides underneath the whole table. And that way uh, I can get it up off of its um, leveling feet and just have two casters to kind of roll it around and position it. Cause this thing is starting to get heavy. So the table's been pretty much done and uh, usable for the past week. 
There's a few things I still want to finish. I'm going to do some drawers and some cabinet space underneath. Um, as you see in the video here, there there is a few pictures. There's some storage underneath being used already. Clamps are down there. My router's down there. Um, that sort of thing. But there's going to be more usable space. There's going to be uh, little cubbies for glue and, um, and tape and uh, some paper for doing glue up so the surface doesn't get messy. Um, but it's pretty much finished now. There's going to be a little bit of um, three-quarter inch uh, poplar that's going to fill the gap here as well as here on the sides um, up to these legs. So you're going to see a nice poplar piece there with some chamfers top and bottom. You also see that down on the lower section. Um, and once the table gets really finalized over the next few weeks as I have time and materials, um, I'll do a part two of this video and you'll really see how the whole uh, assembly table came out uh, as a final result. But for now, uh, I'm really happy with the amount of workspace that I have. Uh, you know, it's four by eight, so it's big enough for the largest project that I'm gonna make. Um, and it's already a usable space. And I mean, it's just, it's unreal to e even get this um, radial alarm saw or miter saw up off the floor. I mean, just having it workable right here, um, that's the first time I used this table and I was like, wow, this is gonna be a game changer for my, my wood shop. I'm not gonna have to build anything on the table saw anymore. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you uh, comment and like my videos. Uh, give me good or bad feedback, whatever you've got, um, I'm open for it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This is Rivertown Woodcraft. My name's Jim, and I'll see you guys soon.